After reviewing Jamie Oliver Thai green curry, which actually more like green mushroom soup, hiya. Uncle Roger need to cleanse my eyeball. Many niece and nephew asking Uncle Roger to review Mark Win Thai green curry. Let hope nephew Mark don't make our ancestor cry. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is James. I've been cooking for many, many years all over the world and I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you will enjoy something on my channel. And if you do like this video, then don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, my mother-in-law and I are gonna be making Thai green curry with chicken. The first step in making this recipe is to pound up the curry paste. And so we've got all the ingredients. Oh. That his mother-in-law, she just sitting there, back to camera. Like she can't be bothered to be in video. <laughs> Uncle Roger, like this is proper Thai auntie. Always grumpy. Not like nephew Mark, he's smiling all the time. The whole intro, he's smiling. Hiya. It looks like this is going to be one authentic Thai green curry. My mother-in-law doesn't write down any recipes, but somehow she just knows all of the ingredients. Correct. We just enough. use feeling. Her head. First step is just to prepare all of the ingredients to pound. So the first step is to peel your garlic. Good. Next up for shallots. Mm -hmm. Shallot, good. Thing. Use shallot. Onion for poor Next people. Up is um, galangal. Galangal for you. That correct. Jamie used ginger. Ginger mm -hmm. and galangal, two completely different things. Ginger is white people version of galangal. Cannot use for Thai cooking. Now, like I said in my last video with Jamie making his green curry, if you cannot get all the authentic ingredients, you will have to substitute. And if you don't want to make the paste yourself, then getting May Ploy is a very good curry paste. It's a Thai curry paste. It has everything in it. Um, so if you don't want to make everything yourself, this is one route to go. If not, if you can get all the ingredients, then try to get the galangal and try to use the ingredients that you can, well, that the authentic ingredients that you should be making it with. That's about a thumb-sized chunk. And next up, lemongrass. Mm. Lemongrass good. The lemongrass, you don't have to spank the lemongrass like uh, Jamie likes to do all the time. You cut the bottom off and then you slice it. And then next up, this is a uh, kaffir lime. Correct, correct. We're not gonna be using the juice of the lime, but only the peel. If you aren't used to cooking, you don't need to cut the, or peel the kaffir lime like this. You can use a potato peeler with it, or even a microplane to zest. If you know how to use a knife, it's fine, but how she's doing it is very, um, well, it's more old school home cooking. All ingredients correct so far? Cilantro roots. Coriander root, good. Coriander root I have never used before. So this is interesting. Really smell that kaffir lime peel. Don't just stand there and smell. Help your mother-in-law. All of the pre-preparation is done. We've got all the ingredients ready. It's now time to start pounding. You can kind of just Uy, oh, That is very nice pestle and mortar. Keep putting everything and pounding it all together. If you're gonna be making this curry paste by hand with a pesto mortar like they're doing, let me tell you, it's going to take a lot of work. So you may have to switch arms. If there's more than one of you doing this, it's even better. Then you can trade off because trust me, you'll be there a good 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes or longer just trying to get the right consistency. It actually doesn't work so well to pound on a on a surface that bounces like a table, so it's actually best to take the take the mortar down to the ground and pound on the ground. Correct. Uh, yeah, you want to be using the pesto mortar on a hard surface because you are trying to crush something. If you put it something underneath that's like a spring, the energy is just going to be transferred through that. The okay to just toss in everything. So next, the garlic and the shallots. We're gonna pound all of these ingredients first, and then after that, we'll be adding the green chilies. Usually, mm. when you pound stuff in pestle and mortar, you want to start pounding from the hardest ingredient. In this case, it's the peppercorn. But this Thai auntie built like tank. She just pound everything at once. Don't give shit what you put first. If you're at home and you're going to be doing this, you want to pound the harder ingredients first, add them little by little instead of just adding everything in at once. It'll help you a little bit while making this. In goes some salt. I'm gonna start pounding up everything. Ah. This is gonna... Uncle Roger like how this mother-in-law just leave. I like how grumpy his mother-in-law is. Uncle Roger grumpy too if my son-in-law always making YouTube video in my backyard. Hiya. Nephew Mark, get your own house. Get your own house. This is gonna, it's gonna take a while, 
but I'm going to tell you that it is so worth it to make your own curry paste. You can already see difference between this video and Jamie Oliver video. See, no food processor anywhere and that dead chicken in bucket. It is so worth it to make your own curry paste. You could buy a green curry paste at the store that's already pre-pounded. Don't do that. But when you make it yourself and you control the ingredients, it's absolutely incredible. If you don't have the time, then getting a pre-made curry paste is a must. And it's better to have that than nothing at all or than what, spending a lot of time if you don't have it. If you have the time to make it, then by all means you should make it. Also, if you don't already have a stone mortar and pestle, you should invest in one because you need it for almost every Thai recipe. Correct. Pestle and mortar, very useful for Asian cooking. A pestle and mortar is a very old piece of kitchen equipment and is used throughout the world, not just in Asia, to make, say, pesto or to make aioli or any of these other things. We use pestle and mortars. The only thing is it takes a lot of work to make anything with them. It's one of the, the ultimate tools of Thai cooking. I've just been pounding for about five minutes and already you can see how the- Hi, uh, yeah, nephew Mark, you don't need to and, uh, show the whole pounding the process. Do some editing. Skip forward a bit. Hi, yeah. It's already smelling incredibly fragrant. It's gonna be delicious. My mouth is already watering. And he's still smiling. What drug he on? For the final product. Good chili. Very important ingredient in green curry. These are Thai bird's eye chilies, but they are green in color. That's what's going to give your green curry the green color. Thai chilies are quite spicy. Um, if you haven't used one before, then you may be in for a bit of a surprise. If you're used to the heat, then three is not enough. Because it's not like you're going to be using all the Thai paste if you make a lot. You can make a decent amount of Thai paste and then save the rest of it and only use a portion for what you need. There's no reason to go through all this work just for one meal. And then if you're going to use it again for the following week, you have to go through all the work again. You make a big batch and then you have leftover. See, mm. see how many green chilies she used? Remember, Jamie Oliver just used three, three chilies. Yeah, he only used three chilies, yet in his carbonara, he adds a lot of black pepper. So in go all of the chilies. See, and whole chili go in. They don't remove seed first. also. Pound them up a bit. Not like Jamie Oliver. Go flying. But Hi, uh, you want to show pounding. Show better angle. Don't show your toes so close to the food. It disgusting. <laughs> it's not Love Island. Nephew Jake not there to suck your toe. I like sucking toes. <laughs> The other thing is, it's not necessarily hygienic putting food on the floor and working on the floor when preparing food. It's better to work on the countertop. It also helps your back. If you're sitting like this and you're bent over for 10, 20, 30 minutes, it can hurt after a little while. And at this point, you're gonna just keep on pounding and pounding. Wait, so I what? Have a cup of coffee. What are you doing? You might wanna grab some coffee like me. No, hiya, why are you drinking coffee? Just pound, pound three stroke, and you take <laughs> break. Why so weak? So, so weak. weak. Uncle Roger wants to see you make curry, not make time for yourself. If you want to take break in middle of Weijo, don't need to show on camera. Hiya, Uncle Roger <laughs> never make Weijo, and then suddenly in middle. <laughs> yeah, that's true. With my cooking videos, I edit out a lot, maybe sometimes a little too much, but there's always a balance between too much information and then necessary information. And keep on pounding. <sighs> He's still pounding. All right, it's starting to look more like a paste. Yeah, it's turning into a better consistency. A better consistency than what we saw with uh, Jamie's Thai green curry by using the food processor. But even the edited version of this video is quite a bit. Half this video is pounding at Uncle Roger, not even on Pornhub. I'm not sorry, I'm dirty, children. And I'm not sorry, I'm dirty. You don't need to go to the, this is better than going to the gym. No, no, okay. it's not better than going to the gym. This, you just working one muscle. The rock didn't get buffed just by making green curry. Hiya. I just got the approval. The curry paste is- Finally. Final step is to add the, the shrimp paste. 
good. The shrimp paste adds a lot of flavor to the curry paste. It's one of the important ingredients. If you can't have it because you're allergic to shellfish, you need to check if you're buying pre-made curry paste. I love that sound at the end of making your curry paste. It's kind of- If that sound don't spark any memory, then I feel bad for your wife. Our next step is to wash and clean the chicken. I'm sure that most of you are not quite used to getting a chicken like this where you have to prepare it yourself with the legs still on, the head and everything else, are you? If you are butchering your own chicken, and I have a video on doing it, not from this extent, but from what you can get at the store, be sure to save all the little bits and save the carcass as well as you can make chicken stock out of it. You can make quite a few things. If For the wings, if you have enough, you can make some chicken wings. If you have the legs and the drums, you can use them well for this, for the curry or for other stews or stir fries. Fuyo, look at her chopping. She chopping chicken like chicken did something to her. What did chicken do to you? Did he wake you up too early or something? Maybe in her house, chicken is alarm clock. And only way to hit snooze button on chicken is to chop them up. She first chopped off the feet and the head of the chicken, and now she chopped it in. Don't say that with a smile. I think he's smiling because he's terrified. Half, and gonna clean it up. It kind of does send the wrong message if you're smiling as you say that this process is going on. Yeah, it, it does send a little bit of a wrong message. It's good. Fuyo, look at the chopping. The strength. It like this mother-in-law warning nephew Mark, if you cheat on my daughter, this what I gonna do to your p She's using a cleaver to cut the chicken up. Now you can do it like this. Um, just be careful that if you don't take the bones out, you will have little pieces of bones still left in the chicken. Thai style chopping, very different from Chinese style chopping. When you go Chinese restaurant, eat Peking duck, the chopping so precision. But Thai chopping, mm. you just whack. The chicken is clean and I have just set up the street food cart. You see the little bones and all the pieces? Once you cut all of them up, it's important to rinse them. You will have a few bone fragments regardless if you're hacking and chopping all these, but if you have a lot, and it's not nice to have extra pieces of bone, you know, you're eating and it's, uh, you know, you get a little bone here and there. It's not fun. You're gonna assemble all of the Entire green curry with the coconut milk and the mm. curry paste. I like how she has same haircut as Uncle Roger. <laughs> so first she's gonna boil that water. And then she said she's gonna put in the curry paste, the chicken and boil that for a while. So it looks like he has his own little food cart, doesn't it, in Thailand. I've seen his website. If you guys are interested in visiting Thailand, then he has a website with a bunch of information on where to go, what to eat and everything else. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check his website out. He's a foodie and he travels a lot. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he seemed a bit nervous when talking to his mother-in-law. <laughs> she said it smells really good, the curry paste. She'll use most of what we pounded into the water and dissolve that into the water first. Usually, mm. first step of Thai green curry is cooking coconut milk, but her method okay mm. also. It's more home-cooked version. She mm. start with cooking the paste. Flavor from mm -hmm. Thai green curry usually come from the fat. So as long as she use fat from chicken later, it okay. Gai gai, lo kiao, lo tom. That green curry paste is boiling away. Mm. It smells like you know your green curry good if it look like CBD oil. Incredible. Okay, cup. And now she's adding in all the, the chicken pieces. Mm. Good. You see a big difference between this curry already and the last green curry that we reviewed. A big, 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 big difference. To slice up some kaffir lime leaves. That's gonna add more fragrance to your green. By boiling chicken, she getting the fat out from chicken. So that good. That way Jamie Oliver fucked up. His green curry, no fat at all. He used light coconut milk and he didn't boil chicken to get the fat out. Where the flavor? Where the flavor? It's been simmering for about 10 minutes or so and we're gonna assemble everything. Mm. Micah has Wait, come what? to take a whiff, take a smell of that green curry. Hello Micah. Why are you showing your baby now? This not relevant, hiya. <laughs> 
Uh, just woke up from a nap. Oh. Ah, see? That the face my ex-wife Auntie Helen make when she learned that Uncle Roger, successful YouTuber now, <laughs> that bitch missing out. Uh, Micah, I'm not gonna touch you because my hands are probably have some curry paste. Yeah, this is another thing. If you haven't been touching chilies before, working with chilies, you need to be careful. The oils will still leave a residue on your fingers. If it's spicy enough, they'll burn a little bit. But if you don't notice it at all and you go to touch your eyes, your mouth, your nose, or if you go to the bathroom, you'll notice. Hi, uh, even the wife look like she hate him. Are they okay? Should we check on them? They look kidnapped and hostage. Fuck hashtag free Britney. We should have hashtag free Win wife and kid. Still on them and some chilies. But I love you, little boy. I love you, little boy. I love you too, Dad. And you can see all- <laughs> What? What? I love you too, Dad. That line look like he tapped it in himself. Nobody mouth move. I think they really kidnapped by Mark. Imagine if your kidnapper kidnapped you and then start making Thai green curry. So a lot of the liquid has evaporated. Now in go the eggplant first. Thai mm. eggplant. Classic Thai green curry ingredient. Thai eggplants are not the same as the aubergine or the eggplants that we have in the West. It's a little different. They're a little smaller, rounder. You can substitute, I would say, if you can't get these. But if you have the right ingredients, it makes things a lot easier. But then again, sometimes it's how it is. You have to use what you have. Next up for the mm. coconut cream. Good. This is interesting to see the coconut cream or coconut milk come in a plastic bag. I'm used to having it in an actual container. Ah, see? Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the coconut cream, the thick, buttery, rich. Mm. Notice how she untie it? That is how we tie shit up to transport food in Southeast Asia. In Thailand, in Malaysia also. We tie it like this. Uncle Roger never see anyone tie thing like this anywhere else in the world. And then so many white people tourists come to Malaysia. They don't know how to untie it. They make mess all over themselves. This knot is like the past. White people can't undo it. It is somewhat emulsified, yes. This has a lot of the meat from the inside of the coconut. Now, normally when you buy coconut milk at the store or coconut cream, they have stabilizers and emulsifications that they add to it to make it look emulsified. Other times, it'll split. It's still usable if it splits. Oh, and you can just see how creamy that is. Oh, that's full of delicious fat. And she's adding about a spoonful of salt. May my side not black up. My guy say. Okay, cop. We're gonna bring. Uncle Roger don't agree with that. <laughs> Uncle Roger like fish sauce. Me too. Yeah, I love fish sauce, and I add it to my curry at home. But again, you know, to each his own. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. And then the final step, you add in the sweet basil. They're using Thai sweet basil. Now this is not the same as our normal sweet basil that we get over here in Europe. And there are many different types of basil in the world. There's even purple basil. So when buying basil, just keep this in mind that if you don't have Thai basil, if you can't find it, that's fine. Um, you may have to substitute. And then she added in the sliced uh, red spur chilies mm -hmm. that we she nice. chopped up earlier. Jamie Oliver, notice no mushroom and munch too. So you just boil for another minute or so, and we are just about ready to eat. He does look very excited, doesn't he? All right, mate. Time to feed hostage. <laughs> okay, the green curry recipe is done. Ying is gonna dish out a bowl now. By the way, you should um, start a pot of rice about, well, when you start to make the curry. Hiya, don't tell us now. Your curry already made. You got whole 15 minutes in this video to tell us to make rice and you tell us now? <laughs> Hi, yeah, it's too late. This mug guy got time for coffee, for baby, but didn't tell us to make rice. Now he forced all the hostage to eat the green curry just by itself. This is one thing to make. You always have a pot of rice before you make the curry paste. Rice would be a good thing to make or put a pot of rice on before you start this. You gotta come, yes. come just take a really close up look of this green curry. Just look at how thick that is. In Thai, mm. you call that kem kon mak, meaning it's very thick and rich. 
it looks good. I'm sure with the actual ingredients that the flavors make a massive difference. Thick and rich, that's how Uncle Roger liked my woman. This green curry look really delicious. Mm. Just the vibe of this video, a bit weird. <laughs> yes, so I've also got a plate of rice. This is brown rice. Yeah. Bro I'm gonna bro go in. Brown rice? <laughs> Who eat brown rice in Thailand? Hiya. After reviewing Jamie Oliver, <laughs> Uncle Roger need to cleanse my eye. <laughs> that was quite an interesting video. I'm gonna have to check out more videos of uh, Mark's on his channel. We're gonna have to review more of his. The curry looks very good. It looks authentic. We could have added maybe the fish sauce, you know, maybe a little bit, and maybe not brown rice, maybe some jasmine or basmati. If you want to try to get the ingredients yourself and make this recipe at home, by all means, give it a try. Just keep in mind that making this at home, it will take you quite a bit of time and you need a pestle and mortar. You can cheat if you have a food processor, but it's not gonna be the same. If you did like this video, then let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. And if you did like it, then be sure to share, like, and subscribe. You may wanna click on this video here, and I will see you guys again very soon.